McSorley's was first opened in 1854 by John McSorley. He arrived from Ireland in 1851, three years before he opened the bar. And the Irish waiters and bartenders help give McSorley's old ale house an atmosphere that many consider, correctly or not, reminiscent of old New York. McSorley only serves two ales, light and dark. In 1910, John McSorley dies in the second floor flat above the bar. He's 83 years old. Bill McSorley, John McSorley's son, takes over the alehouse. He begins to make it a shrine to his departed father in 1911. No piece of memorabilia has been removed from the walls since 1910. Also, one must take notice of the wishbones hanging over the bar. Story has it, they were hung there by boys going off for World War I. And when they came back, they would remove them. So those that are left are from the men that never returned. The prohibition begins in 1920. Beer, ale, wine, liquor, and hard cider are, are illegal. McSorley sells what they refer to as near beer. Two of McSorley's most famous mottos include, Be good or be gone. And, We were here before you were born. Prior to the 1970 Supreme Court ruling, the motto was, Good ale, raw onions, and no ladies. The raw onions can still be had as part of the famous McSorley's cheese platter. New York Magazine considered to be one of New York City's top five historic bars. In 1933, the prohibition ends. McSorley's is still there. Though many bars now admit women, McSorley's still goes by their philosophy of good ale, raw onions, and no ladies. Anytime you can drink at a bar that's been around since 1850, it's a special experience. These guys bring me in from out of town. Um, I've, I've spent time in Manhattan, I've uh, lived in Manhattan. Um, anytime you come in from out of town and spend time in a bar that's been around for longer decades more than you've been, been alive, it's special. Um, you know, the fact that they don't have any liquor, they, it's straight beer, light or dark, light or dark. that's special. I mean, the New York Times are uh, falling in the Titanic tank, that's special. Um, there's something about this bar. Different. Basically, there's a guy, when we pulled up in our car, there's a guy who came up and shook my hand, and ever since then, he's been serving us drinks, so he could be a waiter, he could be the owner, he could own this whole block, I have no idea, but he's given us drinks, and he hasn't given us a bill yet, so I hope maybe he's the owner, maybe he likes us, I don't know, but it's, you know, place with people who you've never met, you know, like, we're on a bachelor party, and they sit us with four guys who we've never met and we're four guys who are out on a bachelor party and like you know uh, there's something dynamic and fun about that 155 years later McSorley's is owned by the Mayer family and is currently maintained and operated exactly like it did back in 1854